welcome to the next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on hiding the Django admin from unauthorized users. So what I mean by this, we only want our admin users to be able to access the Django admin and not our regular users on our Django website, just to make it a little bit safer and just to enhance some security. Now, of course, for this integration to work successfully, we need to ensure that we have a very basic um, authentication app in Django. Now, if you already have that, that's perfect. You can integrate um, this library, which I'm going to show you in your existing project. However, if you are unsure of how to set up an authentication project in Django, you're more than welcome to check in the description below for this exact um, project that I'm working with here which is a very simple authentication app where you can register um, for an account and you can also go ahead and log into your account and then you'll also be able to access the dashboard page as well of the account. All right, so do keep that in mind. That is important that you have that covered before moving on. Okay, now what I want us to do first of all is to understand this library. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to want to stop our server and we're going to want to go on ahead and create a super user. I'm going to say python manage.py create super user. Let's say enter. And I'm just going to keep it at uh, the following and I'm going to say on our admin. Skip add in a password. And again. Perfect, now let's run our server. Okay, there we go, perfect. So now we can go ahead and navigate to our admin page. And what I want us to do is just to go ahead and sign in with our super user. Right, so as soon as you've entered in your credentials, you can log in. And if we go to our user model, we can see we have our super user here so on our admin is a super user so a staff user now what we want to do of course like i said is we want to now hide this django admin from our users so first of all we need to log out okay and we're going to set up the library here so as of this moment okay it's going to hide the django admin from all of our users even our super users so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to ensure that we are logged in okay and you know have our session in place so that we can access the django admin from a dashboard page and i'll show you what i mean with this exactly so I'm going to go ahead and stop my server and we want to go ahead and say the following which is pip install django hide admin and you want to go ahead and install that library. There we go. Right next what you want to do is you want to replace the django.contrib.admin app with hide underscore admin dot apps dot hide admin config in your list of installed apps. So we can go to our application. Then you want to navigate to your settings.py file. And we just want to go to where we see django.contrib.admin and we can remove that or you can even comment it out. So I'll actually just comment that out. And we'll put some space here and we can just go ahead and add in the following, which is right here. And in quotes, you can add in the following just like that. And there we have it. So now we're going to see a 404 um, not found error for access to this particular URL. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the server. Okay. And now we shouldn't be able to access the Django admin page. So if we go to admin, it's now going to show page not found. And this is perfect, okay? So we have the security built in, so you cannot directly access the Django admin. You're going to have to be logged in as a super user to be able to do so. So earlier on, we created a super user. So if you have the default functionality for authentication in your Django app, you should know that with your login form, you'll be able to log in as any kind of user, even a super user. So what I'm going to do before we go ahead and set that up is I want to create a regular user. 
So on my registration form here, I'm going to enter in some details for a regular user. So here I'm going to call this, um, let's say test user one, uh, test user one at mail.com and add in password and confirm it and register. There we go. So now we're in the login form and we now know that we have a regular user which we just created and earlier we created a super user. Now I do have functionality in this app, which of course um, is based on the tutorial which I'll show in the description and it is also available. Um, I'll also add in the GitHub code as well in the description below for you to a direct link to that. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and fill out the fields and log into our dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and say chest user one and add in password and say login. Okay, so this is the dashboard page now. Right, so what I'm to do now is I just want to go on ahead and try to access the Django admin now, and I am a regular user. So I'm going to just make a new tab and duplicate. And let me try to access the Django admin. And here you can see it says page not found still. Okay, this is because we are just a regular user. Okay. Now, if we were to go ahead and say log out here, and let's say login again, and let's go ahead and add in our super user. So Arno admin, add in the password, say login. We are now logged in and that session is going to be tracked. So now if we go to the admin page and just refresh, it's going to take us straight to the admin page. And as you can see, we are logged in. Okay, so that's how you can essentially go on ahead and ensure that you're able to access the Django admin in a more secure way. So in this case, no um, regular users will be able to access your, uh, how can I say, your Django admin. So it's a very um, unique way into securing your Django admin. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, say log out, log in again, and it's going to appear just like so. Okay, so I just wanna show you now to make it easier as a super user to see a link. So we don't wanna to have to go ahead and put in the URL directly. So what we can do is we can go to a template. So I'm going to go to templates and that's the dashboard one. And what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and add in some tags here to check if we are a super user. So here I'm going to add in curly braces with my percentage symbol and say if, the request on this um, dashboard page dot user dot is underscore super user. Okay, so we're checking if it's a super user. And in that case, we're going to just add in a paragraph tag here that's just going to say, you are a super user. Here is the, and then I'm going to create a link here. So I'm just gonna open that up here and set the href here and we're just going to set this to admin just like so and then here in between i'll put in admin dashboard okay so we've got that in place so now what i want to do is i also want to add in an else statement just as a chest here so we're going to say else if it's not the case so if of course you're not a super user i'm just going to go ahead and say here um you do not have super user rights. And we can just close this um, if statement with an end if statement here. Now, of course, when you're building um, your application, you of course want to show nothing to regular users, but just for demonstration, I'm going to add this in here. So now if you're a super user, you should actually go ahead and see a link to be able to access that Django admin. So let's add on back and we can just refresh. And let's go ahead and log in again. So I'm going to go ahead and say on oh, no, admin. And let's log in. Right, there we go. So it says here, you are a super user. Here is the admin dashboard. So it's just going to append localhost with, um, of course, the admin um, right after that, which is right here. So now if I were to click on that, it's gonna take me straight to the Django admin. Okay. So that is how we can go ahead and secure that. Now, if you're wondering for regular users, what it's going to show. So if I say log out and log in, and we had, what was it? Test user one. 
and log in. It's simply going to say you do not have super user rights. So that is essentially a very helpful way to hide our Django admin from any sort of attacks that we face or anything that is dangerous of the sort. So it can be very helpful to ensure that your users go on ahead and log in. There's built-in login functionality for all of your users and that you're able to navigate to the Django admin this way. And the reason that it can detect that it's a super user is because of the session that's stored. Um, of course, in our window behind the scenes when we are logging into our application. And that is a better way to find out who should be able to access the Django admin and who shouldn't. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. That's how you can effectively hide the Django admin and essentially secure it from unauthorized users so that only Django admin users are able to access the um, Django super users are able to access the Django admin. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for support. And I will be sure to attach the relevant links in the description below of this video. Thank you and see you next time. Goodbye.